We ran for 30 days. Here's what happened. So we've done a lot of food experiments in the past, but we haven't done as many fitness ones. And we thought, what would happen if two guys who both weigh over 220 pounds decide to run every single day for 30 days? And some questions immediately come to mind. Will we lose all our gains? Will we lose all our strength in the gym? And is it even possible for two guys our size to run every single day for 30 days? And equipped with Brooks Running's new nitrogen-infused Hyperion Tempos, we are about to find out. And we've set quite the challenge for ourselves because at the end of this 30-day journey, we're gonna be partaking in the Take the Bridge event. It's a six plus mile run through the streets of Eugene, Oregon. It's gonna be the first 10K both me and Brandon have ever competed in. And if we're not ready in time, we're gonna get absolutely crushed. So here we go, 30 days begins now. Just tell me the truth. You look good. You're not just saying that, right? No, you... You look lean. Lean? What, like I've lost weight or something? Well, yeah. Listen, you look good. Seriously? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, okay, good. Because, I mean, if I looked like you, I'd be having a panic attack right now. What are you talking about? It's day five. We're almost a week into this challenge already, and I feel like my number one struggle at this point is finding balance. Finding balance between my workouts and the running every day. We just released our home gym workout plan, so me and my brother have been meeting up to get our workouts in, and we're on a push-pull program right now, so it's full body. There's a lot of legs throughout the week, so my legs are killing me on these runs. You know, the good thing is my cardiovascular strength is there. I feel very strong there, and I kind of equate that to the last challenge we did, trying to get a six-minute mile, so I'm not unfamiliar with running, although long-distance running, uh, that's a different story. So a mile in isn't too bad, but because I'm working out pretty regularly and the workouts are pretty strenuous, I'm definitely feeling the fatigue in my muscles. And that's the hard thing over the years, really been training the fast twitch muscle fibers and of course with the endurance racing, you're really training your slow twitch muscle fibers and I'm not used to that and it's really showing in these runs. Now I'm trying to hit at least a mile, if not two miles every day and the pace is pretty moderate. So I'm really trying to implement stretching, mobility, foam rolling to make sure my muscles are recovering properly, don't get too tight. I'm really tracking my nutrition at this point, making sure I'm getting the proper macronutrients and fueling my muscles and body. And I'm also trying to get enough rest, enough sleep. I'm trying to get at least eight hours a night so I don't overtrain. That's really my biggest fear. I wanna make sure I can keep pushing, keep getting my runs every single day. A little bit of a concern this week because it's very difficult and I'm really feeling it, but since I have a little bit more experience in training, I realize there's a period of this adaptation. You know, it's gonna be really tough. So I'm really hoping next week, my body really starts to get acclimated into this training. It gets a little easier, it levels off a bit more. I'm not quite as tight or sore and I can increase my runs, not only in length, but in speed as well. So that's my major struggle right now. And another big concern, which I'm sure a lot of you dudes out there have the same concern when it comes to running, does running actually kill all your gains? And you know what? I haven't seen obviously a big difference now. It's only been five days, but we still got some time left, 25 days left of running every single day. So only time will tell. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pumped. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, feeling pretty good. How close am I to that first mile? No, don't check your watch. Unnecessary movement. Oh man, my quads are already burning. I'm gonna check my watch. Damn it, don't check your watch. Ugh, should have peed before I left. Whoa, watch the dog shit. Hmm. That jump didn't use up too much energy. Hey, there's another runner. Morning. <laughs> God, I hope they didn't hear that. It's been like six minutes. I gotta be closing in on that first mile. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna check my watch. What? It's only been 30 seconds? Okay, think positive. Think positive. I am an invading Viking warlord. I am a Greek superhero. I am really, really tired. No! Strong mental mindset. Let's go! I really should have peed. It is day number 10 and I have done 10 consecutive days of running. And I have never done 10 consecutive days of running in my entire life. So I am treading very new waters right now. I still haven't done a six mile run yet. I've really been trying to work on my pacing and I gotta be honest, it's really difficult. By the time I get to that third mile, I've been keeping about a nine minute pace and I'm pretty beat. 
I mean, I'm used to the gym when you're doing eight reps of deadlift and then you get a nice healthy little break there before continuing on to the next set. But with this, there are no breaks and it can be so psychological because I wanna quit by the end of that half mile and then I still know I got a long ways to go. So I really gotta work on that mental fortitude and something that's really helping my body out is the fact that we've been able to partner with Brooks Running. We're wearing their Hyperion tempos. I love the way they feel. I'm fast, they're lightweight, responsive, and it's really what I need because sometimes I can feel a little bit like a semi truck kind of plodding down the asphalt. But thankfully with the Hyperion Tempo's innovative nitrogen infused process, I can feel my speed amplified with every step. And I'd really highly suggest grabbing a pair of your own. Just go to brooksrunning.com. And that's something I'm really trying my best to do at the moment is finding comfort outside my comfort zone. A quote I like to come back to time and time again is everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear and taking baby steps is really what helps me to accomplish this goal of finding comfort because as awkward as it may be stepping outside your comfort zone, you stay there until you feel comfortable and then you take another little baby step and another and another and all of a sudden that circle is much larger than it used to be. You've acquired many new skills and that's exactly what I'm hoping to do with this running experiment. <sighs> if only we were like 50 pounds lighter, you know? I mean, all this muscle on our frames makes running so much harder. God, I know. It really is an inconvenience, isn't it? Fake muscles. You've been wearing fake muscles. Yeah. We run a fitness YouTube channel. <laughs> Gotta look the part. For over 10 years? Mm. Probably close to 20 years. We made it to day 15. We're halfway into this challenge. And I gotta say, it's been pretty rough. Not only physically, but mentally too. And what I'm talking about is just getting up every day knowing that you're gonna run in every run being for me grueling and, and just exhausting and i know i can do it but i start convincing myself i can't do it or i shouldn't do it i, I deserve a day off i hate running whatever it is that is a slippery slope you can't let yourself slide down that because it's hard to get out of so I've been really trying to introduce something that's worked wonders throughout this challenge, and that is taking one jar, filling it with 30 marbles, each marble equaling one day, and after every run, I'm transferring one marble into the empty jar. So at the end of this challenge, I have a jar full of 30 marbles that used to be empty. It is an excellent visual representation of my goal. So I can see it right in front of me. That's what I have to do, but it's also keeps me accountable. It's the accountability that can really help because I don't want to end this challenge and still have five marbles in that jar when I know it should be empty. It's also a great reward system too. After every run, I get to put one of those marbles in. As silly as that sounds, it can really work. Uh, you don't have to do the marbles. You can just cross out days on a calendar, whatever it is, but it, it has helped. Um, it, but that has been a challenge so far. Uh, and I know we're only 15 days in. It's not that big of a deal, but you know what? Hey, sometimes you have to play some tricks on yourself um, to make sure you keep it up. So we got 15 days left. I'm excited, I'm staying positive, and I wanna see how I end up performing at the end of these 30 days. At this point, I'm feeling pretty beat up, so I'm trying to look up to some positive, inspiring people just to help keep me going. There's a gentleman who used to live in our area, his name's Lou Hollander, he's 90 plus years old, oldest Iron Man to ever compete. He's also a nuclear physicist, a science fiction author. This man has done it all, and he has proof that you can be in your 60s, 70s, 80s, or in his case, 90s, and still be an athletic specimen. So, a lot of inspiration there. Lou, if you ever get a chance to watch the video, thank you for helping me out, because you're really pushing me forward. I know sometimes you'll get comments, like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, people are like, oh, you guys can't run, you'll lose your gains, or, or you shouldn't be running, and things of that nature, but guys like you, Lou, are proof that you can, and it keeps you healthy, it keeps you strong, it keeps you fit, and I'm keeping you in my thoughts, because I need it. I got these last 10 days, and I need all the help I can get. What the hell, I'm still, still here and I'm still going. And when you think you can't go any further, that's the moment you push it out. Day 25, we have five days left of this challenge. I mean, the finish line is in sight and that's pretty motivating. And what's more motivating is looking back on the first week of doing this challenge and seeing my time 
my speed and the distance I was running at and comparing it to what I'm doing now. There's definitely a pretty big difference, I mean, at least for me, in a, a somewhat short uh, time frame. I mean, 25 days in the grand scheme of things is not that long. I mean, we wouldn't recommend doing something just for 30 days and expect a lot of difference at the end. You're still gonna get progress for sure, especially if you do, you know, keep up the consistency, the dedication. But I am coming into this with realistic expectations. I mean, I just think to myself, if I lifted weights for 30 days and then jumped on a stage to compete in a bodybuilding competition, would I expect to win first place? Absolutely not, but you know, sometimes you're not doing that. Sometimes you're just seeing how far you can push yourself, fall in love with the process, and really have fun doing it, and that's exactly what I felt like has been happening in this challenge. Currently at the check-in, take the bridge, there's quite a few people here, and they look serious. They're about half our size, and uh, that's, that's a telling sign we're not gonna be as fast as that. <laughs> They're runners. <laughs> yeah, they are runners. <laughs> So, sidewalk on that bridge. Fuck, I know. You might have fucked that up. Oh, no. <laughs> no. So, we're like way, no. way far away. We need this one. Yeah. We need to hit this street. It's closed, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's not, back this, where we came? it's not this bridge right here. That bridge? Well, yeah, that's that the freeway. I guess we'll just try it out, see what happens. <laughs> We took the bridge. Been training for 30 days straight. Over 100 miles ran throughout these 30 days. We finished. Big congratulations. A lot of smiles. We placed dead last. That was humbling. It was. <laughs> <laughs> was humbling. Oh man. The Take the Bridge event is very interesting because you get the route directions moments before you start the race. We'd never been to Eugene before, so it was an adventure. We oh, had yeah. no idea where it was going. We ended up running a 15K just trying to find our way back to the finish. So we got, we got real lost. How's your vision, Dustin? <laughs> Thankfully, we got lost uh, with an awesome dude. Name's Dustin. He's from Brooks Running. Uh, he entered last minute. I mean, he's... He's a big dude as well. We were just three rhinos running down that street. It was actually like the running of the bulls because all the other competitors ran so fast because they didn't want us to catch up. We were just, we were hungry, we were angry, and we were tired. And we wanted to eat something. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so I mean, hell of a lot of fun though. Speaking of stepping out of your comfort zone, that's exactly what we did. And it only makes you want to get better. And hey, you know what the positive thing is? We all hit new PRs. Yeah, we did. None of us had run nine miles consecutively. And we did. And it feels like it. I'm pretty yeah. sore right now. So, uh, but man, that, that was rewarding crossing that finish line. I'm very happy with that. I got to update as well in regard to our physique. Yeah. Do you lose your gains running every single day? You do. And I have to say, I lost a total of one pound. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Yeah. In 30 days of yeah. Running, you're eating right, you're yeah. sleeping well. I mean, that, that kind of is, it all comes together. Yeah. It does. And I got a little leaner in the process, so it was definitely a win for me. Absolutely. And um, we really enjoy these experiments. How do you think we would do if we had just 30 days to find and enter a natural bodybuilding competition? <sighs> Let us know. You want to see us do it? <laughs> that sounds scary, but... It's a little exciting as well. Comment if that's the next experiment you want us to do, and well, we'll do it. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. So until next time, stay buff. <laughs>